an overview of Red Hat Insights. Red Hat Insights is accessed via cloud.redhat.com, which is the home for all of Red Hat's software as a service products. The homepage of cloud.redhat.com will change over time as the offerings expand and grow. But currently, there are three tiles. The first tile is how you access Red Hat Insights. The second tile is how you access cloud management services for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, included with your smart management subscription. And the third tile is how you access OpenShift Cluster Manager. We'll begin by selecting the tile for Red Hat Insights. The overview page of Insights shows you the summary of rule hits by severity and rule hits by category across all registered hosts. We'll start by reviewing the critical actions. Insights defaults to only showing the rules that are hit by systems. This displays the name of the issue detected and the total risk of the issue, how many systems are impacted, and if there is an Ansible playbook available to remediate the issue. Let's start by selecting the DNS mask issue. This view gives you more details about the issue, including a summary, link to the knowledge base article, the total risk, as well as the risk of making the change to resolve the risk. Scrolling down the page, you can see the affected systems. Select one or more of the issues that have a failed rule and the Remediate with Ansible button becomes available. Select this button to create an Ansible playbook to resolve the issue. To remediate, you can create a new playbook or add remediation to an existing playbook. Let's create a new playbook. Give it a name and click Next. This page summarizes the action you are taking, a summary of the resolution, if a reboot is required, how many systems, and what type of playbook. Remediation of this issue does not require a reboot, so auto-reboot is disabled. Click the Create Playbook button. A hyperlink appears on the name of the playbook. You can click that link directly or navigate to it later using Remediations on the left-hand navigation bar. Looking at the playbook, you can see a summary of the systems that either will be or will not be rebooted. If auto-reboot is enabled, and when the playbook was created and modified. Further down the page, you can see the actions included, and if you expand, you can see the systems associated with each action. At the top, you have the option to download or delete the playbooks. Let's click Download Playbook. Downloading the playbook will download it to your local machine you are using to access cloud.redhat.com. Let's take a quick look at the playbook. Adjust the playbook if needed, then you will need to transfer the playbook to a host where Ansible is installed to run the playbook. This has been a short overview of Red Hat Insights, included with Red Hat Enterprise Linux as part of your subscription.